Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, you got here just in time. That's right. It is Sunday morning. It is time to explore another campground. I backtrack. Now, on my top five Texas State Park list, one of those campgrounds is Lake Mineral Wells State Park. That's where we are today. Actually, the next couple of days. Look at this beautiful sight. Oh, I love this state park. We are in site number 61. It is an asphalt pad. It's very level side to side, but as you can see, we got a wheel off the ground. I didn't notice that until I was out here talking on the camera. My bad, I need to block that up. We are a 30 amp and water site. Here's your water, here's your 30 amp. There's a hiking trail, see that horizontal? That's a hiking trail. Plenty of shade trees. Now the, the one thing I don't recall from my last visit, because last time I was here, it was in this site right here. Love that site. That's a great site. I don't recall the, the campground host site with all the various stuff around it. That's okay. We appreciate the campground hosts, provided they're doing their job. We do have an aluminum picnic table on a concrete slab, a little fire ring, and kind of one of those cooker thingamajiggers, a charcoal grill. And I'm not sure if we're in a burn ban or not. I know my neighbors have a campfire, so that implies that we're not. <gasps> Almost forgot. We have the ubiquitous lantern hook. Oh man, we're gonna be camping in style now. Lots of shades. So if it was hot, sun's going down over there. We have plenty of shade, so we would be cool on the patio. We're gonna be cool on the patio for sure, cause this, we're November 14. Cold front blew through. It's chilly. Anyway, let me gear up and we're gonna take the bike. We have no name yet. We're gonna take the white stallion and we're gonna go see some stuff. Yappy will be here tomorrow with Lil Red and we'll do a scooter tour then. But today, there's some things I didn't see when I was here last time. So we're gonna go check that out. So let's go. Lake Mineral Well State Park has one of the most impressive amphitheaters of any Texas State Park that I've been to. This is the Lone Star Amphitheater. That's a bona fide stage right there with lighting, flagpoles, electric controls. I guess you can put a projector up there. And this is also, well, let's, let's go back up the hill. Let's take Valkyrie back up the hill. Mineral Wells State Park is also, it's connected to and it's part of the Lake Mineral Wells State Trailway, which is a rails to trails project where an old, the old railroad bed was turned into a trail for us to take advantage of. And it runs from Weatherford to Mineral Wells. So that's, looks like it's about 20 miles. So it's six miles, 3.4, it's nine and a half. And there's another 10 and 10, six, nine and a half. So that's about 20 miles. And it's available for <laughs> e-bikes. Lake Mineral Wells is also known for the dark sky. And this is where you would come for that. The last time I was here, they had a Star Watch party in progress. People came out, set up their telescopes, and you could come and look through the telescopes. All right, 
Let's go see some more stuff. So we were here at the amphitheater and we've traveled up to here. This is Penitentiary, Penitentiary Hollow. Now there's this really awesome day use area up here. Last time I was here, there were a lot of people. Penitentiary Hollow is a favorite for rock climbers. And understandably, I, I'm not one of those. So I, I didn't even venture down here when I was here last because I, I got mobility issues. Look at that canyon, a chasm. Stay back from the edge. It looks quite slippery with all those little pieces of gravel. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's a, that's a pretty substantial cedar elm tree. And what a fantastic view of the lake. So we are camped right over there. Is it where that little brown thing is? We're right beside that. I guess I should have tried bringing my e-bike down here. In case y'all didn't know it, Americans with Disability Act has been updated. And e-bikes act, can actually now be considered a mobility device. But you do need to be prepared to prove that you need a mobility device. Yeah, all right. Look at that view. So that's Penitentiary Hollow, I guess. Very interesting. I don't know how to get down there. I guess we need to go back and look at the map. I don't even know if I can get, if I can get down there. I wasn't able to find a way down to the bottom of penitentiary, penitentiary, penitentiary hollow. So I headed back over to the day use area. Fishing dock. I guess that would be considered a jetty, maybe a wharf. They also have a fish cleaning station. And this really cool building that was built by the CCC. So a lot of the constructs here in Lake Mineral Well State Park were built by the Civilian Conservation Corps. Let's go see if we can find some firewood. Lake Mineral Wells actually has a boat ramp. The lake is so desperately low right now. They also, if you don't have a boat, they have a, a couple of watercraft available and a dock where you can get aboard. Still looking for firewood. Let's go see some more stuff. I found some firewood. Ouch. They have it in the store. We won't talk about how overpriced it was. So bring, bring your own firewood. That's a cool building. I just, I just really, I really love the work that the, the CCC did way back in the day. All right, now I gotta figure out how to transport my six sticks of wood on my e-bike. If you're coming out to Lake Mineral Wells and it's warm, you might wanna go get in the water. They have a beach. No magnet fishing or metal detecting is allowed. Now you know. All right, let's go see some more stuff. I'm at the group dining hall. This caught my attention, which is not very, <laughs> not very accessible. Step carefully. I don't know, I'm not gonna do that. I, I, I love you guys. I really love y'all. I'm not going down there. Cause I'd have to come back up. It looks like there's Wi-Fi in the park. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Right. 
No handicap shower here. This is up by the group dining hall. We don't have any way to see inside the screen shelter either. The water picnic table and power. I think they have about a dozen. It's just it's just an empty room. But this is interesting. Let's walk down here and check this out. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? Man, I'm great. That, that, that seems awfully thin. You guys fish out here very often? First time. First time. Yeah. How about you? Uh, this is the second time I've been here and I've not ever done any fishing. I was just in and out the last time. But it's way lower than where it was when yeah. I was here. When I was here last time, the water was running across the road on the dam. So that would put it about four feet down. So if you're coming out to Lake Mineral Wealth State Park and you need a 50 amp site, or you want a 50 amp site, I've looked at all of them. There's two that I really like, but they have, you know, this one has a, a bit of a step issue, but it's a super level asphalt pad what I like about it is it's really private down here by the picnic tables and it's waterside. Of course, you got to keep in mind the lake is about four feet low. So you could just post right here, set your lawn chair, and put your hook in the water. I really love this park. All right, let's go see some more stuff. The signs call it the big fire pit. That <laughs> actually, I don't know if you can see. Can you see? It's no bigger than a normal fire pit. It's just got a seat all the way around it. But there's a stage and places to sit while you watch the performance. That's next to the 50 amp loop. If you don't need 50 amp. Number 36. Look at that. You just, you, you just right there. Uh, <laughs> how, how can you complain about that? And when the lake is at its normal level, water's going to be right here. Perfect access with a boat, kayak. This park is full of deer. I have just saw three in the last five minutes. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So if you have a smaller RV, number 59. Look at that. You're just, you're just right on the water there. Lots of shade on either side. Now you know. If you're traveling with a canoe or a kayak down at the end of the road at the 30 amp loop, I think it's the post oak, post oak loop, there's a canoe and kayak launch. Cool, let's, let's go find some more stuff. If you're all right with primitive camping, you don't need power and you don't need water. Then up on top of the hill at the end of the road, some very beautiful primitive campsites. Now, the wind is not blowing here and it was blowing when I was down by the lake. On my last visit, my first, which was my last visit to Lake Mineral Wells State Park, this is where I saw the mountain lion. So just know that. All right, let's go see some more stuff. They've made some improvements since my last visit. They made this trail a lot better. If you recall, in case you don't recall, in case you don't even know what I'm talking about, on my last visit, I camped at that campsite right next door to me. Right there, the big old crane, the heron.
not happy with me. He, he, he definitely is not happy with me. So I'm not sure what it was in the beginning, but it is now a, a wildlife viewing platform. And when the water level is not quite so low, it's a great place to put a hook in the water. Actually had a really good time lapse of this area on that other video. Ooh. On the on the other video from the previous visit. All right. It's almost time to put the camera down. I wonder if that's beaver chewing on the steps. I bet they chew on that and they go, there's something wrong with this wood. Treated wood, you know. It needs some ketchup. <laughs> All right, that's, that's beer 30. So if you're of the birder set, there are birds at Lake Mineral Wells State Park. We got a lot of, I'd, I'd really like to see one of these. But I don't think we're going to see too many birds because they're smart. They went south. But there's a great bird watching station here at Lake Mineral Wells State Park. It's all fenced in, fenced off so the deer cannot get in. And there's a padlock so that the people can't get in. I don't know why the people would want to get in there anyway. I got a craving some bird food. Okay, sun is setting. Time for a beer. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Oh, it is a beautiful, crisp morning. It's a bit chilly. I'm at the dam. If you're afraid of heights, you might want to look away. That's pretty far down. Kind of gives you perspective as to how deep the lake is. So this probably, I don't know, 40 feet, a 40 foot drop, and then there's another 10, so 50 feet maybe. We'll go up here and look over the, the overflow. On my last visit, the water was coming over the overflow here by about an inch and now you can see that we are several feet down all right let's go find some more stuff tractor supply had firewood it was seven dollars a bundle bigger bundles uh, it's four and a half miles from here to Tractor Supply, and <laughs> the Vituvia did a fantastic job. Although I think a trailer would be trailer would make it easier. Yappy has arrived. She brought the truck and the ratty pack and a little red. I didn't have a little red. She got here a little bit late. <laughs> and then, anyway, anyway, has some camping drama. This is a lesson for y'all. One for me too. So I was originally, when I booked this trip, we were gonna arrive on Thursday. And then Yappy had some work stuff that changed and she said, well, you go on Wednesday and get your, your, your video stuff done, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I'll show up on Friday. And then Saturday we're headed tomorrow. We're headed farther west. So I went in and I moved, changed the reservation to arrive a day early. What I failed to do was add a day to the number of days of your stay. So when she rolled in the gate this afternoon and said, I'm 
I'm, I'm checking in. I'm, I'm, we're already checked in. I'm at 61. I said, uh, you're supposed to be leaving today. And somebody's checked into that because it's going to be moving into that site. Uh oh, fortunately, I don't set up a an extended stay camp anyway. I put out a little bit of what I need and then I put it away. So it was like, well, let's just move to a different site. And so we have a different site for tonight. And in a lot of ways, it's a better site. And it's like being in a completely different campground. So we are now in site number 74. And it's, it's similar, but better in a lot of ways and and not so much in some ways <laughs> it's like, that's, that's like every campsite so if you're out here if you're going to be here at lake mineral wells state park during hot season this is probably not a good site because we just got some skinny mesquite trees and a juniper bush over there to give us shade but for this time of year we don't need to worry about shade it's a very, it's more level. Side to side is great. Front, it's a little bit low. 30 amp, and you can see somebody's slide has hit that 30 amp pedestal. There's water. Of course, I don't connect to the water. I fill the fresh water tank on board, and that's what we use. What makes it a great side is, look at the patio. Look at my porch. The nearest site is over here, and we have a, a, a charcoal grill, and then the rest of it's forest. I like it! I like it a lot! We have a, an aluminum picnic table. We have the ubiquitous lantern hook, so we'll be camping in style. We got a lantern hook in the fire pit way out here. Don't need the fire pit because I brought the East Oak pan stove, and I have really come to understand why, why this type of fire pit is so popular. It puts out so much heat, so much more heat than just building a fire in, the, in that thing over there. You gotta have a whole lot more wood for that to get the same amount of heat that you get for this. Well, somebody already piled up some wood, so I, I just moved it to a new place. And we're burning. Yeah, I, I really like, I wish I'd have picked this site to start with, but you don't know what you don't know. And I, My last visit was not enough to really come to appreciate the campsites here. Now there is, yesterday evening, I realized that there's a lot of road noise from the highway. And that may be dependent upon the way the wind is moving. A lot of traffic. It's it's four. It's after four o'clock, so everybody's checking in. There's a lot of air traffic because of the airport, which is not too far from here, and the helicopter training facility, which is right up just over the hill. I still. This is still in my top five. This this Texas State Park is just. I like it a lot. There's a lot going for Lake Mineral Wells State Park. You need to come out here and pay a visit. Meanwhile, just wanted to give you that update. We're in a different site. Here comes Jeffy with Ziva. We're gonna cook a burger. I'll check in in the morning before we roll out of here. Good morning. <laughs> it's a chilly morning too. It's a good camping morning. Lake Mineral Wells State Park. We're done here. I didn't I didn't get to accomplish as much as I had hoped. Ooh, that aluminum seat is cold on your bottom. But I didn't get to accomplish as much as I had I had, had hoped and thought I would with the the e-bike and the scooter. Uh, I, I didn't tell you I had a had a flat on the e-bike. I failed to put green slime in the in the tires before I left the house and I put the bottle of slime in the truck. It's just a little bitty sand bird that flattened that tire. Anyway, I was I was wore out from 
messing with it anyway. Yappy ran behind, so Scooter didn't get here until late yesterday afternoon. And we had to move sites. <laughs> That's camping. It's an adventure. Lake Mineral Well State Park is still in my top five Texas state parks. This is just a really pretty park. I have a, a bad raccoon problem here though. So if you're gonna come and camp at Lake Mineral Well State Park, don't leave your ice chest sitting outside. Don't leave boxes of food sitting outside because those little raccoons are smart and they've got opposable thumbs and they'll get into it. After we changed sites, I did an, I picked up another bag of trash, the stuff that the raccoons had carried out into the woods. Secure your, your food stuff, please. We're done here at Lake Mineral Well State Park. This, I will be coming back to this one. I mean, we're gonna head farther west. We're gonna go pay a visit to Lake Colorado City State Park. It's about three hours from here, straight out 20. Head into West Texas. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. This is my thing, documenting campgrounds, showing you all the stuff you need to know so you can better plan your trip. And I try to have some fun along the way as well and show you interesting stuff to do and stuff to take with you. If you've already subscribed, thank you. That's, that's why we're, look at this. No, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't get to do that if it wasn't for y'all. So thank you very much. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. You rock. All right, I'll see y'all next week.